Sonic might be the fastest character in the game, but he has the slowest sets in Ultimate. It took Wrath 20 minutes to 3 0 Gluttony because of a neutral that looked like this. It's easy to hate on players, but we shouldn't. They're just doing what the game asks of them. This is how you win a lot of matches with both Sonic and Wario. Wrath vs. Gluttony was just a perfect storm waiting to happen as both players got better. It's basically the uncappable force meets the unapproachable object. If you want to become the uncappable force in your friend group, check out ProGuides.com. We've got even more educational material over there, like lessons from the pros and a live coaching platform. And for today's question of the day, we want to know what character you guys hate the most. Is it Sonic? Is it Wario? Maybe it is, but we want to know who it is down in the comments below. Let's hear it. We've also recently launched live classes here on our YouTube channel. You can check out these free live classes right here on this very channel Monday through Friday at 12pm Pacific time. Make sure to subscribe to this channel with notifications so you know as soon as those classes go live. Now back to Sonic. Smash's speediest character didn't used to be high tier and hated. For a very long time, he wasn't on the radar. He was just another weird mid tier that people slept on. If you want a quick, slightly haphazard read of how people see a character then take a look at our aggregated tier lists. These aggregated tier lists put together the opinions of a bunch of pros and put the average values by the characters. Sonic is a pretty interesting case here. In the very, very early days, Sonic was borderline top tier. We're talking literally before Ultimate was even on the shelves at your best buy levels, really, though. Of course, the early tier lists were bound to be volatile. By around the 3.1 patch, we see Sonic settled pretty firmly into the mid tier. According to Smash player Incavate's aggregate patch 3.1 tier list, Sonic had a 2.5, perfectly in the middle of a 5 point scale. Accomplished Smash TO Jash recently asked top players to rank characters 1 through 10 style. He averaged out the opinions as Sonic placed in B tier with a 7 out of 10. And if we convert that to the 5 point scale, Sonic would be 3.5 out of 5. That's a full point up, a 20% improvement. In some recent tier lists, Sonic looks even better. Leffen, DeBuzz, Passeriman, and MKLeo all put him in their high tiers. DeBuzz puts him in the top of his Wi-Fi tier list, but that's a different story that has a lot to do with the 20k internet tournament. So, how does Sonic claw back up the lists? What happened with this blue ball of mid-2000s pop punk energy? Let's start off with the first part of the question. Why was Sonic underrated? Sonic started the game underrated due to four big reasons. One, his mains were still learning to play the character. Two, we kept expecting him to be Smash 4 Sonic. Three, changes in Ultimate's engine and meta made him look worse. And four, raw, unfiltered, jank. We're gonna work through these reasons backwards and start from number four, jank. Some of Sonic's moves just didn't work reliably. His up air, his down special, and sometimes even his neutral air didn't hit right. His up air strong hit in particular didn't seem to connect when it should have. In Ultimate, Jank really hurts a character's image. Think Pit and Dark Pit. These two have a lot of great tools and options, but their hitboxes feel inconsistent. That's enough to put both characters in the lower tier lists and a lot of lists. In both Void and East Sam's 3.1 tier list, they both list Sonic's broken moves as why he's in their low mid tiers. In the early meta, we all tended to put too much emphasis on Jank. Jank can be a character killer, but most players will often work around it as long as there are other good moves to use. Sonic mains, for example, stopped using up air as often and started using more neutral and forward air. On to reason number 3, the ultimate meta and engine. Ultimate changed a lot from Smash 4. Lots of the cast got faster, got longer combos, and got kill confirms. When Sonic came in with the fastest ground speed and one of the fastest initial dashes, it didn't seem like a big deal. So many other characters were just too fast and just seemed to have better kill confirms. Sonic's speed, good brawl kill options, and good defensive options kept him from being low tier. But in the game where so many characters all have the same strengths and more, Sonic seems just a little bit average. On top of all of that, the nerfs to grab and shield meant Sonic couldn't run around and dash grab and shield as much. That brings us to the next reason. This isn't Smash 4. A lot of the early meta was just as shaped by Smash 4 as Ultimate. Interestingly, the old, high, and top tier Smash 4 characters got hit the hardest. Cloud, Rosa, Bayo, Sheik, and Sonic all got panned for not living up to Smash 4 legacies. A lot of old Smash 4 gods are doing better now that players aren't just defaulting to Smash 4 neutral patterns. Sonic might just be the best example of this. In Smash 4, Sonic could hold Spin Dash forever and could cancel it with a shield. That made this move nearly zero risk. It also turned him into Spin Dash the character. Players got used to the style where you could Spin Dash shield in place. In Ultimate, Spin Dash is still Sonic's best neutral tool and super hard to punish. The difference is, Sonic shouldn't be Spin Dashing in place and shielding. He should be Spin Dashing onto platforms, behind the opponent, jump cancelling, and using aerials to land. Defaulting to the old Smash 4 style just doesn't work. Smash 4 Sonic also used up airs a lot. 
Another thing Sonic mains needed to change. Up air is still important to Sonic's kit, but it's too buggy and inconsistent to rely on all the time. Now Sonic mains just use forward air, neutral air, and homing attack out of spin dash. Sonic mains also had to cope with a much lighter weight, which means more risk. In Ultimate, Sonic is lighter than Young Link and Peach. If you can catch the little blue ball of death, you can KO him surprisingly early. Sonic mains weren't used to this, since he was just smack dab in the middle weight in Smash 4. And all of that holdover from Smash 4 leads to the final reason Sonic was underrated. Sonic mains were still learning how he works in Ultimate. And honestly, despite the learning curve, they weren't even doing that bad. Ken, the legendary Japanese Sonic main, consistently got solid results at big tournaments. He just had two losses at two crucial tournaments, the Umebura Japanese Major and Kongo Saga. Outside of those events, Ken hasn't dropped below 17th. Notable Smash 4 Sonic main Supergirl, Kells, and 6WX struggled much more. While they were still struggling, Wrath, a rising talent towards the end of Smash 4, was quietly taking off. Even in the earlier days of Ultimate, Wrath got good placings at S-tier events like 17th at Momocon 2019. And we haven't even talked about Sonics and Sonido, who have done pretty well in Ultimate too. So, Sonic mains weren't even doing that badly in the first place. As Sonic mains adjusted to their style of Ultimate and changed their options to fit the new game, they got even better. We're talking 5th place at Frostbite and 3 in Gluttony levels of good. But what exactly did those changes look like? It's pretty clear Sonic is at least high mid-tier now and might become even high tier. How did his mains speedrun the meta and bring him up to the top? They pushed the character's meta. For one thing, Sonic mains adjusted to his new spin dash, creating a unique new style. In Ultimate, it's really common for characters to develop a neutral pattern and safe aerials. So Ike will sit back and space with neutral airs. Pelutena will throw out safe retreating back airs. ZSS will spam forward air. Sonic doesn't have the range or aerials to do that. Now, Sonic mains like Wrath will use Spin Dash as a way to approach and bait opponents safely. Spin Dash is one of the few moves that let you travel through an opponent. That means stage control doesn't matter as much as Sonic because it's hard to truly corner him. Wrath will often speed past his opponent, going from one corner to another, not caring about holding center stage. Most characters would be limited in the corner, but Sonic is mostly fine. Wrath and other Sonic mains will also dip forward and then back again with their Spin Dash, which resets the situation and lets them Spin Dash again. Instead of safe aerials, Sonic mains have safe Spin Dashes. However, Spin Dash itself isn't totally safe, meaning that the player has to do things to make it safe. Sonic can put out an aerial right after Spin Dash, which leads to huge mix of potential that makes Spin Dash a combo tool, kill move, and a hard to punish neutral tool. This is why Sonic games can last so long too. Wrath and Ken can easily spend full minutes dashing around the stage in mostly safe, unreactable patterns, and it's a winning style for Sonic. After all, this hedgehog is light and doesn't have great disjoints, so one hit will spinball him right into the blast zone. To make spin dashing even more safe, Wrath ends his spin dash with a down air. A down air quickly gets Sonic to land and doesn't have enough leg to open up a big punish window. This down air tech is surprisingly crucial because it lets Wrath stall. He can just cancel his spin dash with a short hop down air and just start it over. He can just keep doing that until he baits the opponent into picking an option that he can punish with a spin dash combo. And spin dash can punish pretty much any move that whiffs at mid range. Friendship ended with a spin dash shield. Now spin dash down air is my best friend. The big Sonic mains have also changed their kill options. They use edge guards, dash back F smashes, and spin dash forward airs. Or they wait until like 180% when spin dash back air will kill most characters from the center stage. With these changes to the meta, Sonic mains argue that he hardly loses any matchup. Their matchup charts are pretty wild and weirdly believable. Sonic has the speed and movement to camp down, rush down, and chase down zoners. He can't be abused offstage, he doesn't care if you corner him, and he baits and punishes disjoints with spin dash. In time, we could see Sonic in high or even top tier. However, there's a chance that players innovate new ways to beat Sonic too. The best players often won't practice a match until they know that they're going to face it. Now that it's clear Sonic's a threat, we might see players find new ways to deal with him. If you're looking for ways to deal with pressure, burnout, and so many other parts of the competition, make sure to check out our YouTube channel and our website ProGuides.com. We've got even more lessons coming on this channel, so be sure to hit that notification bell.